Yo, what's up? It's Serious Beats. And today I just want to show you that I recently purchased this new iPad Pro. I purchased this new tablet stand above tech um, MPK mini. This is basically my new mobile setup. And I've been doing my research about Beatmaker and Beatmaker 2 specifically. I know that they're about to release Beatmaker 3. So basically, I went ahead and purchased the iPad Pro. Um, the tablet stand, everything that I needed to basically, you know, make beats and everything on the on the go. And for years, I've been searching for the best mobile setup. I'm used to working off the desktop. I have a powerful computer in my studio, so that's what I'm used to working off of. Basically, I'm just used to working on my studio desktop. I work off FL, as some of you know, but I think I found the perfect mobile setup for me personally, and it's going to be the iPad Pro um, 10.5. I think for a studio setting, if you're not going to be doing too much traveling, I think the 12.9 is like the perfect iPad Pro. I got the 10.5 because it's it's not as big as the 12.9, obviously, but I think for a studio setting, I would probably keep the 12.9 iPad Pro in the studio at all times just to run over the specifications there's um two different ipad pros there's a 10.5 ipad pro and the 12.9 it has a a10x fusion chip with 64-bit architecture embedded with an m10 co-processor as far as the camera goes it's basically the same specs as the iphone 7 and the iphone 7 plus same thing for video recording 4k video at 30 frames per second it also has four speakers in it so i'm not really going to be using the ipad speakers obviously i'm going to be using my studio monitors my headphones and maybe a bluetooth speaker um also the accessories that i purchased the mpk mini so i can control sounds to beat maker i purchased the camera adapter from apple and that's the one i recommend you get that's how you're going to connect your midi controller to the ipad so basically what you want, what you want is the lightning adapter. I got the USB three. Also, you're going to, you're going to need a separate USB hub. It doesn't have to be powered, but that's going to bypass the power issue that you'll have. Basically the iPad reads that it requires too much power. So you're going to want the camera adapter and the USB hub. You're going to connect the MIDI controller to the USB hub, the USB hub to the camera adapter, and you're plugged in. It seems like a lot of work, but it's actually not. It's just small accessories that you're going to need to have this perfect mobile setup. And even if you're not going to have a mobile setup, even in the studio, I mean, this is a cheaper al alternative to buying a $2,000 computer on top of that. All the programs, er everything you need, like... A studio can get pretty expensive or you could go the cheap route just being able to make beats on the go you know it's always been a challenge for me to find the right setup and i think this is it beat maker 3 is dropping so that's the doll i'm going to be using but for right now at the time of this recording i'm using beat maker 2. all the accessories that i purchased is basically the above tech tablet stand the akai mpk mini 2 the camera adapter from Apple and the USB hub. Now, if you want to plug in your headphones, that's how I'm probably going to be using it most of the time. But I also had to buy a three millimeter male to quarter inch split left and right. And that is basically to plug into my audio interface so I can listen to what I'm doing, record everything. Um, I just recently did a live stream where I was making beats on this and I had everything plugged back into my computer as far as audio goes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys and just show you that if you're looking for a portable studio, if you're looking for a portable way to make beats on the go, I highly recommend checking out Beatmaker 2. Beatmaker 3 is about to drop. And as far as sampling goes and even making original beats, it's just, to me, it's the perfect DAW for on-the-go producing. Let me know what you guys think below. Do you guys use Beatmaker 2? Are you going to use Beatmaker 3? What do you think? What's your favorite mobile setup? 
currently right now this is it for me appreciate you guys watching all the links will be in the description below so you can check out the accessories app that i purchased just want to say thanks again appreciate you guys watching i'll catch you in the next video peace